Hey, what's up there, guys? How's it going? Um, today, I actually focused some of my efforts on making a prototype that I kind of wanted to try out for a little while now. Um, I was surprised at how well it actually went. Um, didn't really even take as long as I thought it would to make it. I, in fact, I was surprised at, uh, at kind of how easy it was. Uh, so as you all know, or as you guys probably know, I really, really like the game Siren. It's one of my favorite games ever. In fact, it's probably my favorite game ever. So I kind of set up a scene here. There's a guy. Got our got our camera all set up as a third person uh, perspective type thing. Uh, we got these other kind of blobby characters here. These are the uh, the Shibito. They got cameras attached to them and some trigger cubes right here. So there's two of them, and I will kind of just sort of jump into this here and show you what this is all about. So I kind of wanted to make a like a sight jack prototype, see if I could actually get it to work. Uh, if we jump right into the game here, as you see, the camera doesn't really work with the right stick at the moment, but hopefully I'll get around to changing that. This is the kind of the old... Uh, Unity standard assets third person thing with the uh, the newer input system camera so I kind of Frankensteined it together um, so now what I'm going to show you is uh, you can actually press L2 and it will bring you into the sight jack screen and if you rotate the left stick like I'm doing now and you see you actually tune into somebody's site it will actually work just like in the game and then if you were to take it off it goes back and we can look for the other other guy there he is but yeah you get the idea so i actually did get it to work there's a couple things that i still need to kind of work on Again, the, uh, the player can't move when you're actually sight jacking. This could work with a moving target as well, which I will test later. And then when you press L2 again, it takes you out. And then you can move again. So yeah, um, I actually just kind of set this up. I'll, I'll show you. It was actually pretty easy to do. Um, and it, it was a way that I'd kind of thought of before, but basically, um, what's attached to this character is this, this range and this range pivot here. So what this actually is, is it's just a large box. If I turn the mesh renderer on, you see, it's just a huge box attached to this character's face. And that's essentially what it is, is it's just a huge kind of thin box and it reacts to uh, the, the left stick. So it pivots around this character based on what way the left stick is facing, just like in the game. And if it hits these cube triggers right here, then it turns this camera on and then you can see through it. So yeah, that's basically it. There's a couple more things that I want to add to it. Uh, one is pressing R1 to um, to access a an alerted Shibito's point of view immediately. Um, another one is to map certain views to face buttons. And yeah, just a couple couple more things to add to it but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out it's uh it's quite incredible actually that the uh that it works so well it's it's crazy see you can actually see the uh the box kind of reacting Let's see if I can well I guess I can't it's just going to show me the game but actually I might be able to give it a view show here Go into the scene. Of course, you can see the uh, the static screen, and I'll actually turn the canvas off. 
go back into the game, and we're still in sidetrack mode. As you can see, I am using the left stick, and this is how it finds the viewpoint when it hits these triggers. And then when you get out of it, then the big range box goes away and that's it. Another thing I want to add too is adding like um, blurriness or that kind of fuzziness at the edges of the screen when targets are really far away. thing with the range box is that um, you can kind of set the just the size of the box and then you know if a shibito is outside of that range then they won't be able to uh you won't be able to see through their sight because they're too far away but yeah i just thought that that would uh that would be kind of cool and um, i'll probably just upload this to youtube it's kind of a thing i wanted to work on and uh yeah can't believe how easy it was so probably post more videos as i uh sort of developing it. So yeah, thanks for watching.